Yahoo YouTube. I am Super Genki, and in today's video, we're going to be reading The Power of Repeated Words and Thoughts by Ramesh Sasan on successconsciousness.com. Thinking is usually a mixture of words, sentences, mental images, and sensations. Thoughts are visitors who visit the central station of the mind. They come, stay a while, and then disappear making space for other thoughts. Some of these thoughts stay longer, gain power, and affect the life of the person thinking them. <clears throat> Do you, like most people, let thoughts connected with worries, fears, anger, or unhappiness occupy your mind most of the time? Do you keep occupying your mind with inner conversations about negative situations and actions? Such inner conversations eventually affect the subconscious mind which accepts them as real, accepts them as real. <laughs> it is of vital importance to be careful of what goes into the subconscious mind. Words and thoughts that are repeated often get stronger by the repetitions, sink into the subconscious mind and affect the behavior, actions, and reactions of the person involved. The subconscious mind regards the words and thoughts that get lodged inside it as expressing and describing a real situation and therefore endeavors to align the words and thoughts with reality. It works diligently to make these words and thoughts a reality in the life of the person saying or thinking them. This means that if you often tell yourself that it is difficult or impossible to acquire money, the subconscious mind will accept your words and put obstacles in your way. If you keep telling yourself that you are a rich, it will find it, it, if you keep telling yourself that you are rich, it will find ways to bring your opportunities to get rich and push you towards taking advantages of these opportunities. The thoughts that you express through your words shape your life. This is often done unconsciously, as few pay attention to their thoughts and the words they use while thinking, and let outside circumstances and situations determine what they think about. In this case, there is no freedom. Here the outside world affects the inner one, inner world. If you consciously choose the thoughts, phrases, and words that you repeat in your mind, your life will start to change. You will begin creating new situations and circumstances. You will be using the power of affirmations. Affirmations are sentences that are repeated often during the day and which sink into the subconscious mind thereby releasing its enormous power to materialize the intention of the words and phrases in the outside world. This does not mean that every word you utter will bring results. In order to trigger the subconscious mind into action, the words have to be said with attention, intention, and with feeling. In order to obtain positive effects, affirmations have to be phrased in positive words. <clears throat> Look at the following two sentences. Number one. I am not weak anymore. Number two, I am strong and powerful. Though both sentences seem to express the same idea, but in different words, the first one is a negative sentence. It creates in the mind a mental image of weakness. This is wrong wording. The second sentence awakens in the mind a mental image of strength. It is not enough to say an affirmation a few times and then expect your life to change. More than this is necessary, more than this is necessary. It is important to affirm with attention as well as with strong desire, faith, and persistence. It is also important to choose the right affirmation for any specific situation. You need to feel comfortable with it. Otherwise, the affirmation may not work or may bring you something that you do not really want. Affirmations can be used with creative visualization to strengthen it, and they can be used separately on their own. They are of special importance for people who find it difficult to visualize in this case. They serve as a substitution to create visual to create a visual no. In this case, they serve as a substitution to create a visualization. Instead of repeating negative and useless words and phrases in the mind, why not choose positive words and phrases to help you build the life you want? By choosing your thoughts and words, you exercise control over your life. Cool. Uh, he didn't say cool, but I said cool. <laughs> Here are a few affirmations. Day by day, I am becoming happier and more satisfied. With every inhalation, 
I am filling myself with happiness. Love is filling my life now. The power of the cosmos is filling my life with love. A lot of money is flowing now into my life. The power of the universal mind is now filling my, my life with wealth. The power and vital energy of the cosmos is flowing and filling my body and mind. Healing energy is constantly filling every cell of my body. I always stay calm and in control of myself in every situation and in all circumstances. I am having a wonderful and happy, fascinating day. Cool. Thank you for listening, YouTube. That was the first blog article that we have read on this channel, and I want to make a habit of it because reading is something that I need to do more of, and YouTube is also something I need to do more of. So I thought, why not put the two together and read positive articles for YouTube videos? Anyway, YouTube, if you like the video, if you like this style of video, drop a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, and just keep coming back because we're going to keep doing this and hopefully it will lead us to a better place. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.